keeps moving it. Well, maybe it takes a man to hit it hard if it won't stay still. Here. Pretend this is your bridegroom puckering up to kiss you. <laughs> Amy Lee, that's no way to treat a nice, quiet bank president like Arnold Hammer. Then don't tell me to marry him. Mr. Bannerman? Amy Lee? Amy Lee, I sent you to that fancy school to learn you some manners. Lose what few you had. Hello, Arnold. Give your fiancé a kiss. <laughs> Isn't that kind of dangerous? Yeah, a couple of bear cubs playing around are bound to get a few scratches. Where's that judge? I told you to bring him here for supper. Didn't seem like a good idea to invite him. He's looking for Tom. What do you want me for? Sid Morrison. You've been out in the sun too long. That Morrison business is finished. He says no. He wants you. Sounds real stiff neck. I couldn't reason with him. I don't know why I tried. Simple thing to me seems to be to go into town, explain how it came to be self-defense, let the whole thing blow over. <laughs> Amy Lee, I never said you were wrong about this fella. But who else is it to marry around here? You're local. If you marry her, she'll finish you off inside of two weeks. He's going to come here to my holdings, my town, and carry himself high, huh? Is it true he carries a gun? A judge? I didn't see it. I'm going into town to have some fun with him. You're going to stay here. I'm going to town. Tom! Are you afraid of this judge? No. But you heard a few stories about him, and you want cousin Tom to stay under cover. Tom's a fool. He'll make things worse than they are. What's worse than a bannerman hiding? Do you still say it was self-defense? Would I lie? Oh, you have a 